you can choose to do things uh, when you feel you need to do them maybe you need to get somewhere and you don't have the physical time to get there you could expand the time you do have to enable you to get there or you could contract the time it takes for you to get there and i've done both of those things in the past um where you know i needed to get to a train station at a certain time I was running a long time late and I chose to get there and was able to get there on time, even though there wasn't actually enough time. Now, you could say I could have expanded the time I did have or I could have contracted the time it took. Either way works. I don't think it matters. I've done the same flying in that we took off in an airplane over an hour late. The air, the flight was about an hour and 40 minutes. And we got there to catch a connection, um, which wasn't naturally possible. But I needed to catch the connection, so I chose the reality that we would get there. Now, again, I'm not sure whether the time it took to get there contracted, so we got there in a shorter period of time, or the time we had to get there just, you know, expanded in that sense. So it doesn't really matter. It's really knowing that you have the authority to do so and knowing when it's the father's heart for you to do so. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it can become a party trick and you just sort of, right. oh, I'm going to go and do this, do this, this, this. Now, I make myself available. It's up to God if he wants to use me. <coughs> you know, that's that's the key of how it works. And yes. I'm available all the time in the spirit. And I generally at night... When I go to sleep, I sort of make a conscious intention that I'm available if you want to use me. You know, and there have been occasions where people have said, well, we talked last night in in, a, in the heavenly realms or whatever and whatever. And I'm like, oh, great. OK, what do we talk about? Um, because I'm asleep, you know, but I'm still active. You know, my spirit doesn't need to sleep. You know, so I'm active and my soul doesn't actually need to sleep, but I usually am at rest. Mm -hmm during the mm -hmm. night my body does need to sleep so i usually go to a place of rest and therefore become not conscious otherwise you'd be awake all night in the sense of consciously awake and that could be emotionally draining um so i'm not conscious but my spirit is is in gay is awake my soul is resting and my body is asleep and I'm able, therefore, to be available to do whatever it is that the Father might have me to do. Uh, and that could be to answer someone's prayer in the past. It could be to answer someone's prayer in the present. It could be to do anything in the realms of heaven. It could be to engage legislatively and lots of different things. Now, some people may have specific uh, tasks or quests that, it, that enables them to go back into the past, sees what, saw what happened, and then with that knowledge, then do something in the present to deal with what happened in the past. That That's another way of doing something. So you become aware of what actually happened in a particular moment in the past, and that then gives you the ability to deal with what happened in the present, to make sure in the present that the past no longer affects the present in that way. You don't change what happened, but you become aware of it and that enables you to have the wisdom to deal with it. That's another way of operating within, uh -huh. within time. Um, and I know people who have done that in which they needed insight into something that happened, a covenant that was made. And they observe the covenant being made. And then when they came back into the present, they were able to undo the covenant that was made and deal with it. So that's another way of dealing uh. with, with time uh, in that you observe, but you don't interfere. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.